Let's learn how to perform multiple operations with complex numbers. For example, let's subtract here and write our answer as a complex number in standard form. Now, because these denominators are different here, we need to find the least common denominator before we can subtract. And in this case, the LCD will be their product. 1 plus i times 2 minus i. And therefore, this is equal to i divided by 1 plus i, and then times. And now we need to build up these fractions by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by what's missing from the LCD. And in this first fraction, what's missing is the 2 minus i. And then we have minus. 1 divided by 2 minus i, and what's missing here in the second fraction is the 1 plus i. And now that the denominators are the same, we can subtract the numerators. That is, this is equal to i times 2 minus i minus 1 times 1 plus i all divided by 1 plus i times 2 minus i. And now let's distribute both the i and the negative 1 through, as well as FOIL out this denominator here, which gives us 2i minus i squared minus 1 minus i divided by 2 minus i plus 2i minus i squared. Now remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, which we're going to use here and here. That is, this is equal to 2i and then minus a negative 1, which is plus 1, and then minus 1 minus i divided by 2 minus i plus 2i, and then minus a negative 1, which is plus 1. Now let's combine like terms in both the numerator and denominator. The real part in the numerator is 0, isn't it? Because 1 minus 1 is 0. And the imaginary part is 2i minus i, which is i. And in the denominator, the real part is 2 plus 1, which is 3. And the imaginary part is negative i plus 2i, which is positive i. Now we're asked to write our answer in standard form, which we can do by multiplying both the numerator and denominator here by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 3 minus i. And now we multiply the numerators, which gives us i times 3 minus i divided by 3 plus i times 3 minus i. And now we can distribute this i through to both terms as well as FOIL the denominator, which gives us 3i minus i squared divided by 9 minus 3i plus 3i, and then minus i squared. And again, we can use this fact up here that i squared is equal to negative 1, both here and here, which gives us 3i minus a negative 1, which is plus 1, divided by 9 minus 3i plus 3i, and then minus a negative 1, which is plus 1. And now the negative 3i and positive 3i in the denominator cancel, and we're left with 3i plus 1 divided by 10. And now dividing both terms in the numerator by 10 and writing the real part first so that it's in standard form gives us our answer of one-tenth plus three-tenths i. 
And this is an example of how we can perform multiple operations with complex numbers. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.